vlog. Today we have our green smoothies. I already drank most of mine. And we also have our sweet green. Bird, of course, got his classic buffalo chicken salad. I think that's what you always get, right? Yeah. Bird is the kind of person who can eat the same thing like every single day. Whereas I always need to switch it up. So I've gone through like three or four different salad phases at Sweet Green. This is my newest phase, which is their chicken avocado ranch. And usually it comes with romaine, but I sub it for kale. I found that they usually don't cook their white rice very well. Like, like it's like mushy and stuff. So I sub it for the wild rice, which I like a lot better. And usually it also comes with apples, but I sub it for onion because I love onion as you guys know. So yeah, it is their chicken avocado ranch, but I customize it a lot so that it's, you know, to my liking. So this is lunch. <laughs> Okay, it's a few hours later after lunch. The lunch was really, really good. I'm really digging my new sweet green order. <laughs> like me and Bird both started off eating that buffalo chicken salad and he has been eating that one ever since. But I've tried a good amount of their different kind of bowls. Like I've tried their harvest bowl, their crispy rice bowl. Those are good, but they never made it into like my full rotation. I tried them like once or twice. And then their barbecue chicken salad was my go-to. Then I got tired of that one. And then I found one that I liked, but it must've been seasonal. so they they took it off like pretty soon after I found it, which I was really, really sad. But anyway, now my new go-to is that chicken avocado ranch one with all my modifications because I ordered that one as is before and I didn't like it as much. But once I modified it to my liking, now that's my new go-to and I'm really enjoying it. But anyway, yeah, we got back from our SoCal trip two days ago. So we got back on Sunday, today's Tuesday, and we've been back on our smoothie and our sweet green, and it's been really, really nice. Although I'm only home for a week before I go to Taiwan. So this week is gonna be pretty stressful for me. I have to like wrap up all my stuff. My Asia trip is a whole month long. So I just have to make sure I have everything sorted out before I go. So for the past few hours, I've been working on trimming these B-roll clips, the footage that I got when we were at Disneyland. And this footage is from that little mini pocket camera that I was showing you guys. And I'm so excited to incorporate it in my videos because like literally look at this, like it's so clear and it's so compact and convenient. Like you can see the shadow of it on my face right there. See, that's how big it is. Like it's literally just this little thing. And I got so much good footage of us on it and it was just super convenient. Like particularly for the rides and stuff, it was really convenient to use because I just had to hold that thing. And usually I'm like holding my phone on the rides. And so it's just like an uncomfortable position to be holding your hands and like doing this throughout the rides, especially the more intense ones. Like, oh, I have to show you guys the Incredicoaster footage that I got, which was really cool. And I'm really excited about. I'll Although, for some reason, our Incredicoaster ride got messed up somehow. Like, so like if you've been on Incredicoaster, you would know that they have like audio, like they have the characters talking and there's like a whole story to the ride. And on top of that, there's music playing. So, it, and it all corresponds to the different parts of the ride. The audio was off. Like it didn't start until we were like halfway through the ride. And also the music would only play sometimes. I don't know, it was like really weird. <laughs> See, the music's not playing and the audio is not playing. Like, usually this is where they would say the laser thing. And there was nothing. And you can hear music now, but it was just like really random. Like it, it didn't sync to the ride. Yeah, at the end, when the ride was already over, there was like this weird creepy laugh. I think it's supposed to be during, you know, the other part of the ride and it's supposed to have music so it doesn't sound that creepy. But it was literally like we had just finished the ride, we were stopping and there was this like creepy laugh. <laughs> I've been on that ride so many times and that's never happened before. I mean, I still enjoyed it, I guess, but you know, that's not how Incredicoaster is supposed to be. But anyway, I am working on trimming down these clips. And originally, I think when I imported all the B-roll, it was like four hours of B-roll. And so I've been trimming it since last night, I started trimming it. I have it down to about an hour and a half from four hours. So pretty good. <laughs> 
there was just a lot of footage whenever I'm filming at Disney or whatever or just filming in general I always try to get as much footage as possible just in case I need it so yeah I definitely overdo it with all the footage but yeah I'm actually really excited to edit this like it's been a while since I've been excited to edit a video so it just feels nice to have that excitement but yeah that's pretty much what I'm gonna be working on this week and today I'm also gonna be picking out some music for the Disney holiday food video so I'm on epidemic sound which a lot of like youtubers use for copyright free music and I literally just searched Christmas and I'm gonna listen to some of these and see if any of them match the vibe. I do have some songs from Epidemic Sound for Christmas that I used in my last year's video but I do want to see if they have any any other ones that might fit the vibe too. That's cute. Oh this one I have already. Aww. I love listening to Christmas music. It just puts me in the in the Christmas mood. It just puts me in a good mood in general. The whole flight back from SoCal to the Bay, I was listening to the Nutcracker <laughs> and Bird was like, what the heck? <laughs> I love the Nutcracker. I just love Christmas music in general. Are you guys those kind of people who, once it's November 1st, you start listening to Christmas music and put up Christmas stuff? Or do you have to wait until after Thanksgiving? I know that's a very controversial thing. I personally don't mind the Christmas before Thanksgiving, but I do have friends that are very adamant, like no Christmas stuff before Thanksgiving. So comment below if November 1st, Christmas stuff starts or it has to be after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Let me know. Okay, I think I found a good amount of songs to include in the videos. And this helps too because I always am looking for Christmas songs to put in Vlogmas videos. So, oh, actually I feel like I should talk to you guys about Vlogmas this year. So this year, the last vlog before Vlogmas is gonna be my packing vlog. So once we go to Taiwan, like all the Taiwan vlogs are gonna be Vlogmas vlogs, which I'm really excited. And we're gonna do the same thing as we did last year where Vlogmas is every other day, not every single day. So I think it'll be 13 vlogs total. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. I've never done Vlogmas in a different country before so i hope it will go well we'll, we'll see <laughs> we'll see what happens especially with the time difference and everything but um yeah that is the plan you know if i miss a day or something happens you know i'm sorry <laughs> in advance but you know we're trying our best out here so i'm super super excited about vlogmas i hope you guys are excited too but yeah i am going to get back to editing this video <music> Hello. <laughs> we are at Target. Bird has his TPT drinking his boba and he is leading us to his favorite section. We have to get ready for another trip to Taiwan. So yes. We need to go check out some. It's Taiwan related? Oh gosh. That face. <laughs> I don't think it's Taiwan related. I don't know. I, don't know. Mm, I have a feeling it's not. Okay. Where's the Taiwan stuff? not Taiwan related. Uh, you tricked us. So naive. What? <laughs> Check out what happened to my glasses. Oh yeah, Bert's glasses broke. broke. See, he had to tape them because <laughs> they don't sell this lens anymore oh, no. or the frame, the frame anymore. And Bird loves these frames. Yeah. I've had them since like college. You've had them for like seven years almost. Yeah. Well, so I had this frame and then the original broke. Right. Then I found a replacement frame and then now this one broke. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, so it's not technically the same seven Correct. one for seven years. I see. So I'll, I'm going to try and fix it later with some Gorilla Glue. Uh, hopefully that works. I'll probably have to get new glasses like next year. Yeah, that's true. For now. For this now. This bird remains. You should make some glasses out of Lego. Stupid idea. <laughs> <laughs> any cool new sets? I don't think any new sets. I thought about getting this set though. Star Wars Mandalorian. Star oh, Wars. nice. You have too much Lego. We don't have enough space in our house to store all your Lego. You don't know anything. <laughs> These are cool because there's a dial and if you spin it, it like flaps its wings. 
Oh, it's like the Poke uh, the Pikachu one. They also have a this Charizard one. version. Of that. This one we have, and it yeah. moves. It runs. Pikachu runs yeah. if you spin the dial. Very cool stuff. Uh, I love Lego. Okay. <laughs> Men only want one thing, and it's disgusting. <laughs> plastic bricks. <laughs> Get your brick on. <laughs> uh, nothing to buy. Good. We have enough. I don't think Target sells Gorilla Glue, honey. What's this then? <laughs> Why did you say they don't have it? Look! You don't know anything. <laughs> Why did you say they don't have it, Bird? Come on, it's right here. Okay, Bird did not get Lego, but he did get his Gorilla Glue. Oh! <laughs> what is this? Pants. Yes. It's soccer. Soccer pants, they call them. But anyway, we got some stuff. We got some smooth ingredients, banana, spinach, and then we got lots of travel stuff. Like I got lots of travel hand sanitizer, toothpaste, wipes. I always have to have a lot of wipes because I, when I film with food and stuff, it's very helpful to have wipes. And dry shampoo, yes. Dry shampoo is a must. Oh my gosh, they have all this like cute holiday stuff out at Target right now. And I, I want to buy it, but since we're gonna be in Taiwan, well, I'm gonna be in Taiwan for like pretty much all of the holiday season, it doesn't make sense for me to buy a bunch of holiday stuff that I'm not gonna use. So I just have to walk sadly past it. Bird. <laughs> Good morning vlog. It doesn't really look like morning because today is actually quite gloomy here in the Bay Area. But anyway, I'm just quickly hopping on because I just finished my morning smoothie and I am about to go meet my sister for lunch. We are going to this place in Cupertino called Gochi and they have like Japanese fusion tapas. Yeah, it's a very interesting concept and they have really good reviews. So let's go to lunch. <laughs> this is the hamachi carpaccio. There's some like jalapenos on top. It's very pretty. <laughs> very nice. And then we got the dry curry meishi, which is the clay pot rice. And they went ahead and mixed it for us already. But it looks really good and it smells really good. Look at that. <laughs> this is the okonomiyaki style pizza. And you can see the little bonito flakes moving. Look at that. <laughs> That's so fun. Wow, look at that. It feels really crispy too. Mm. There's like cabbage in there. It's very cheesy. And then our last dish, we got this tan katsu like T-A-N space K-A-T-S-U. And it's a panko crusted beef tongue and it has some sort of like miso sauce on it. And they also said this is some like, did they say Japanese mustard or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Japanese yellow mustard. Yeah, Japanese yellow mustard. She said a little bit goes a long way. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. All right, I guess I'll take a little bit. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. Chewy, but this is like like braised beef, yeah, like in like noodle soup kind of. It has that same like stringy texture, but it's very tender as well. I got an injolmi cream latte. It's like the soybean powder. I've never had an injolmi latte before, so I'm very excited. And my sister got a black sesame latte. It looks good. Yeah. And then for bird that I'm gonna bring home, I got this Dalgona milk tea with boba. Cheers. Oh, whoa. Ooh. Strong coffee. Yeah. Super strong. <laughs> Mixing helped with the bitterness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't taste that much in, in Jomi. Mm -hmm. A little bit, a little hint of it, but not super strong. 
Hello vlog! It is much later, it's actually like 11pm, but I've literally just been editing all day. I'm still working on my Disney holiday food video. I still have lots and lots of work to do on it, so I possibly might be staying up really 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 late tonight to work on this. Maybe even an all-nighter, who knows. Also, don't mind the background, it's looking very weird because Ollie keeps trying to jump on the shelves. Like when he was younger, it was such a bad habit of his that he would jump on the shelves and then he, and then he kind of got over it. And then he like wouldn't really try anymore, so we were like so happy. But lately, like this past week, he's really been trying it again, which we are not happy about. So we kind of just like blocked it off. It's not super great, but anyway the reason i pulled out the vlog was because i had some dresses arrive in the mail and i wanted to show you guys some of the dresses i ordered and these are like special occasion dresses which i literally don't have like any of i think the last like three or four weddings i just wore the same dress because i literally only have one dress so let's try on some dresses this is the first option it's like a velvet texture and it's like dark green. I mean, it looks kind of black on the camera, but it's like a dark green color, if you can see. I like this one a lot. Please ignore the shoes. <laughs> but yeah, I will link it below. This one is from a brand called Jessa K. And yeah, this is the only one I got from them, but I did order a few dresses from another website called Baltic Born, so I'll try those on now. Wait, you guys, I just realized it has pockets. <laughs> Look at for in the back. <laughs> But dude, oh my god, that's a game changer. I love anything with pockets. Wow. Okay, that makes me like this dress like way more. I already liked it already before. Pockets make it so much better. <laughs> okay, so this is the second dress. This is from Baltic Born. Basically all the other ones that I'm gonna show you are from Baltic Born. But yeah, it has this like ruching on the top. Or I don't know what this is called. Is it called ruching? I don't know, anyway. <laughs> then it has this like, let's see, what is this, tool? maybe i don't know dude <laughs> this is why i'm not a fashion blogger <laughs> i just stick to food i don't know what this material is but it has this sort of material and these little ruffle things <laughs> oh my god i'm horrible at describing <laughs> but yeah basically this is the second dress and i like it all right this is the third dress it's like a dark green color here let me get closer oh my god bird is always in the back <laughs> he's holding the other dresses <laughs> Shout out bird. <laughs> so this is the third dress. It's like this dark green color. As you guys can tell, I like green. And it has this like, I don't know, leaf pattern, I guess, on the outside. And then yeah, it has these little sleeves and it's way too long. <laughs> so if I keep it, I'll have to get it hemmed. But yeah, I mean, I think it's not bad. It's kind of cute. Yeah, I kind of like it. <laughs> oh, also it has a slit. All right, this is dress number four. It is like a black velvet material. <laughs> I can't, every time I walk towards the mirror, there's bird. Okay, anyway, it's like this black velvet material and it's like the ruching again. I think it's called ruching. I don't know, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But yeah, and then it kind of flares out here and then it has these little like lines. <laughs> I'm so bad at this stick to food blogging honestly <laughs> but anyway yeah and this one's like a shorter length and yeah i'm wearing the sleeves off the shoulder but you could also pull them up and wear them like that but i think i like the off the shoulder look a little better i don't know i just feel like like how it looks like this the neckline doesn't suit me that well anyway yeah i like this one too so far so good this is the fifth dress it has this little like flower pattern on it all over and then it has this like boxy neckline and I guess you could push the sleeves down too but I feel like it looks better when it's up. This one, I'm not really feeling it although it does have pockets <laughs> but having pockets isn't, you know, enough for me to keep it, I don't think but I think it's just the design like the the pattern doesn't like look good on me per se but I think like the style of dress would look good maybe in a different pattern but yeah, I feel like this one is the first one where I'm like, ah, eh, I think I would return it. All right, this is the next dress. It's uh has like this floral pattern on it again with the ruching and the sleeves which you can have them off shoulder or on shoulder. I don't think it really like fits my vibe. Not bad, but not the best. All right, this is dress number, I don't even know, I lost count. Well, number each dress on the screen so that way you guys can tell me in the comments which dress you like. And it's just like a basic 
black dress. It's kind of long. Actually, it's quite long. It's very flowy, which I like. And then the chest part has like the ruching again and it has these like sleeves, flowy sleeves. And yeah, it's a very like basic, simple dress, but I think it's a good one to just have in your closet. But yeah, I like it. No pockets though, but that's okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this one. And the material is very, very soft. All right, this is dress number, whatever it says on the screen. And actually, wait, I like adjusted the dress. So let me show you what it's supposed to look like. Basically, it has these long sleeves and I don't love the long sleeves. Like this is what it looks like with the long sleeves down, but I kind of shortened them earlier because I like that look better. It again has the ruching on the top and then it has this like flower pattern and it's like flowy. And yeah, I like the length of the dress. I'm just not a huge fan of the long sleeve. I don't know. You guys let me know if you guys like the long sleeves. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to it. I'm not sure. But yeah, you can also put the sleeve up like that instead of having it off the shoulder. I think I'll still keep this one though. Kind of cute. <laughs> frilly and flowery and flowy <laughs> all right this is dress number blank and it is basically the same as the other green dress but it's the same dress just a different color on the camera it looks kind of bluish but it's actually more like a green if you guys can see it's more like a green like a sage green so it has the slit here and then yeah it has the little sleeves this one i actually maybe like it more than the dark green one i don't know i feel like i like this color more but yeah again <laughs> probably have to get it hemmed because it's too long but yeah cute all right this is the last dress it's much more of a casual kind of vibe but yeah it's very flowy and like a lightweight kind of material which is nice and it has like long sleeves the neckline is kind of deep <laughs> which i'm like not used to but yeah it's like cute i feel like if I accessorize it maybe I don't know maybe I'm just also not used to wearing this color I don't know what do we think not quite sure about this one but I like how this one's like I'm so free you know but anyway it was a very successful tra dress try on haul I would say I have not tried on that many dresses in I don't even know how long probably since like prom maybe I don't know anyway that's it for this vlog if you made it this far comment below the number of the dress that was your favorite I need your guys's feedback tell me which ones you like so I know which ones I need to return and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one bye